Hello everyone, and welcome to this very quick video in which I will show you how to sidechain in FL Studio using the Fruity Limiter. Let's get right into it. So, for this demo I have this chord progression. And let's say that I want to sidechain it to the clap meaning that it will decrease in volume when the clap plays. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create a copy of this clap and make it unique. Now I'm going to make it much shorter so that we can have a better control over the sidechain signal. So we have this really short pop now. So now I'm just going to fill out the clap just so it occurs on every beat. And now I'm going to route this really short clap sound to a mix channel. I'm going to route it to channel 8. Now what I'm going to do is, because I want to sidechain it to the super saw, I'm going to right click on this little arrow icon here and click sidechain to this track. Now I'm going to go to the super saw channel and put on fruity limiter. Fruity Limiter is a plugin that can act as both a limiter and a compressor. I'm going to choose a compressor option for this sidechain. I'm going to set the sidechain channel to 1. And now I'm going to start playing it and I'm going to create the sidechain effect. So, let's go. The first thing I'm going to do is decrease the threshold. As you can hear, there is no side chain going on yet. Now I'm going to increase the ratio. Now as you see, these peaks are the side chain effect happening, the super saw decreasing in volume. But as you see, as these peaks don't reach the super saw waveform, the side chain effect is not happening yet. So I'm going to continue to decrease the threshold in order to create the side chain effect. And as you can hear, now the sidechain effect is happening. And there are a few parameters we can play with with this. We can actually decrease or increase the release time, which will affect the length of time for which the volume is ducked, which I'm going to show you now. Now the peaks are really short, now I'll increase it. Now we can actually unroot the clap from the master if we don't want to hear that sidechain trigger sound. Our main clap will still be playing, but this trigger sound will not. So I'm just going to click here. And the sidechain effect is still occurring. I hope this video helped you and I'll see you in the next one.